Why is there a Corvette inside, by the way? Corvette blacked out? What happened? It's an 87 Corvette. Oh, crap. Really? Yeah. Let's get her unloaded and see what we got. All those trucks have a certain smell to them. I got to talk about my Suburban, bro. It gets him back and forth to work. Yep. It, it does. It has it. That sucks, man. <laughs> I wish you would have told me more about it. I wouldn't have sent you guys out there. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. All right, guys, so Richard just told us that we needed to go pick up a truck. I think it's like in Covington. I don't even know where the hell that is, but uh, he's saying this truck's really badass. It's got a cool look to it, so uh, I'm about to grab Ricky. We're going to load up in the rollback and haul ass out there and pick this thing up. All right, Ricky. I think this is our first road trip together, right? Yeah, I think so. For picking, going and picking up a vehicle? Maybe. Are you ready? I'm ready, dude. I mean, come on. we got to make some stops. We're going to roll back, leaving GMG going to pick up a new truck so <laughs> oh we got a walker up here in the street i don't know if you can see it here she flipping everybody off man anyway here we go man it was a monday at the shop picking up some tools trying to get back in the groove and then here we go we're getting to go pick up this vehicle so that's a plus man what a great way to get through a monday hey yo didn't he just come out and drop in us because we wasn't making enough progress on the izetta absolutely <laughs> told us we, we had to get that thing done so now we're going to Covington. Is that South Texas? That's Where's pretty that? South, South of the Metroplex. Yeah. Hey, money talks, man. When he knows a deal, he sees a deal. We're gone. That's right. But first, we've made it a half a block. We need to go in and get a good old fucking Red Bull because I'm sleepy and tired. Kids don't have kids, right? This well, yeah. no. If you do, make enough money to work. <laughs> Your wife can stay home. <laughs> there you go. You heard it. You have the wife home with the kids. All right, that's all for now. Okay, so got the door open. It's hot in here, actually. Believe it or not, beautiful day in Texas. Josh usually leaves his bourbon, a gasoline vehicle, running while he gasses up. But for today, in the diesel, he turned it off, took the keys, left me in here, and burning up. I thought we was gonna go inside and get a Coca-Cola or a Dr. Pepper, Ricky, or a Red Bull. Oh, well, we can do that. No, so you stay here and you keep the keys. Okay. Is this how this road trip's gonna go? We ain't even made it five minutes out of the shop. You already bitching. I got hot in here. I got the good stuff. Woo! Well, we've officially made it 10 minutes down the road, but Richard did send us at lunchtime, and we've seen the glowing light of hope. Taco Casa. <laughs> Fat boy's heaven. <laughs> Ricky wanted Brahms, but we pulled over to the Brahms across the street and the line was legit around the building and out into the street. So, sorry Ricky. Man, I'm good with Taco Casa. No Brahms and no yogurt, ice cream, or whatever the hell that nasty thing you said was. Oh boy. So, do you eat Taco Casa a lot? Well, there's one right down the street from my house. You lucky. We're not gonna be able to show the camera while I'm eating dog shit. gets nasty. What are you gonna have? Hey, I'm gonna find out. Oh god, he orders a secret menu. Mm -hmm. Get a fucking taco burger or something. <laughs> oh, what? Walking delicious. Yeah. After you. Thank you, sir. Mm. I watched Josh just swallow a chalada. I should have filmed it, but I was hungry, I was eating, and you guys probably did not want to see that anyway. <laughs> hey, who ended up having to go get napkins because they had so much sour cream on their face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here we go. We're on the road again. And uh, we're just outside of uh, south of Dallas. What's this, Duncanville? Cedar Hill? Yeah. Yeah, so we're on the road again. We gotta quit singing and all these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're out here in the middle of uh, Covington, we hope. Uh, we drove what, an hour and a half? And the address that Richard gave us doesn't exist. And the guy won't pick up the phone. So we'll just keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna drive around. Oh, wait, wait, he's calling me back. Hey Larry, how you doing? Yes sir. Okay, thanks a lot Larry. Right. No update me Ricky. Okay, so he's, he said the GPS doesn't really work out here, so oh, great. Uh, he's going to meet us at the Sefco. At the Sefco. Yep. Kefco. Going to Sefco. Sefco. Woo! That's alright, I need another Red Bull. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Grand Marquis. There he goes. Oh man. That might have been a grandson making a drug deal. Oh, uh 
Uh oh. There's a Steph call. Okay, okay, so Larry has arrived. He called, offered us uh, some beverages. You know, he's going inside. That's, that's a good guy, man. It's a good guy. He had a big old mustache, it looked like. Yeah. So he probably is a firefighter. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. We yeah. will. Probably a good dude. So as we wait for Larry to get himself some drinks, then we're going to follow him to the uh, truck. That's for Brandon. <laughs> Ricky, where the hell are we at? We are in the middle of nowhere. No, this is Covington, Texas, man. Okay, so Larry's wife has, has put some distance between us and herself. Uh, Josh is gonna have to use the uh, turbo of the 5500 here to catch up. All right. There it is. It's way. It's a lot smaller than the big one, so. That's good. But that's, it, good. that's a freaking clean truck. How much did we just say uh, we get this for? Unfortunately, he's got some spare parts here that we didn't prepare for. Yeah. Bro, Larry, you make me jealous. Look at that mustache, bro. Damn, I wish I grew a mustache. 79. Of course, this is the last year they made the oh. round headlights. Mm -hmm. And the uh, tires and wheels are brand new, never been on the road. Never had any miles on them. Just put them on, and <laughs> the old ones are in the trailer back there. Yeah. Put a four inch lip. Man, I have not seen any rust. I mean, y'all know where to look for rust. Yeah. And I've looked and I, you know, I pulled the seat out, cleaned the carpet, and uh, there is no rust on the floor, man. Yeah, no, that's what I'm looking at, and there, I don't see any so far. That's why, I, you know, I told Richard, man, I'm not BSing you, I haven't found it. <laughs> that's what he was telling us, is that it was virtually rust free, and I was like, man. But it runs real good. <laughs> Can I pop the hood out? Oh yeah. Well, there it is. Well, when I got the truck, it didn't have headers. Those are Headman headers. Mm -hmm. uh, I put, of course, the valve covers are already rusted, but I put those on. Put a aluminum Edelbrock and Holly carburetor. It's a 650 double pump. Mm -hmm. And then uh, air filter. It acts like it has a shift kit, but I, I've never touched the engine or the trainer. Yeah. But it does get after it. Really? Okay. Well, what? I mean, you got something you put this much time and stuff into. Why are you getting rid of it? Well, the reason I bought this truck, I had one of these in high school. Oh, okay. And I thought it'd be cool to give it to my granddaughter, but she don't want it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Ain't so, a fancy sports car. No. That's probably what it is. Well, I've got a King Ranch <laughs> down at the other place down here. Yeah. Who wants that? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like the old truck. And this right. truck is very fast, and we just, that's the other thing we said, man, I don't know if she can handle that. I got you. I got you. We really want to put her in something that quick, you know. Yeah. So this is a wrap, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were going to get it painted. Yeah. But man, they quoted me like 12 grand. Yeah, paint's high right now. So we did this, it was, this was 4,500. They did it in Cleveland there. Oh, it's pretty neat looking. I like this thing. Heck yeah. What do you think, Ricky? Yeah, let's hear it real. Yeah, yeah okay. let's go for it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what this crap is, but there's some kind of sticky shit on this. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna be loading. Might be in the front, huh? Uh -huh. 
That kind of, I heard this tire chirp a little bit. Maybe it's in the front brakes. A lot of times those rubber lines will, uh, or sometimes the rubber will, will pinch itself yeah. and hold on the front. Dude, this guy thinks. What do you think there, bud? All right, so we drove out here. The truck is super awesome. It's very cool. But it's about where we would probably end up selling it for so the money's just not right where we need to be uh i talked to richard and he was like ah maybe we're gonna pass on this one okay. we'll keep it in our back pocket we yeah, never know i ain't we... no hurry to sell it it's here if we yeah. decide we want to build it instead of use it for the million dollar challenge <laughs> i mean we'll definitely be knocking on your door because it's a really cool truck but uh larry this time we're gonna have to walk away from it brother well, i appreciate you for your time well thank you Let guys us come and see your goats and... <laughs> And, uh, I appreciate you guys we'll coming and looking at it anyways. And, yeah. All right, brother. We're going to get All back right. to Dallas. Well, tell Richard hi and thank you very much. Yes, sir. And thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your time, Larry. All right. Good guys. luck. Thank you. all Be careful. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasted trip. The truck was a little bit rougher than what uh, got described to Richard and a little bit less material in the truck. You uh, know it was a wrap. Huh? Did he know it was a wrap? He did know it was a wrap, but in the pictures, he said it didn't look like it was beat up. And I told him that there was quite a few whiskey dents all the way around it. The fact that the interior was only about halfway there, uh, I think wasn't, you know, that good. And then it's just gonna need a lot of work. It need AC compressor, need all the lines for the AC to work. The heater cord been looped, so who knows there. I seen the transfer case was pouring oil out of it. Did you notice that? <laughs> that worried me because the drive shaft wasn't in it drive yeah. shaft hasn't been in it so we're gonna make a pass on this one you win some you lose some sorry richard but i feel like this is a smarter deal i feel like you agree ricky yep i agree okay well we're gonna get back and head to dallas because we've wasted about a, a whole day on this oh by the way rich is mad at us because it's already three o'clock i told him hey we had to wait at the gas station for larry so <laughs> you know oh boy All well right. we better get back as soon as we can Oh, you want me to give the update? All right, guys, so one thing that might save the day and not make it totally wasted, I guess Richard found a 95 two-door Tahoe, four-wheel drive over here in Irving. So on our way home, we're gonna swing by and see if we can't snatch this thing up too. Fingers crossed, it's nice, it's a good price, and we can not go home empty-handed because right now we're not doing good on the Million Dollar Challenge for me and you, Ricky. <laughs> or we save some money by not picking up that truck. Totally, totally save totally. some money. 30 minutes and we'll check back in on what it looks like, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a million dollar challenge about quantity or quality? No, definitely quality. Can it be done with quality? Huh? That's what we gotta find out. Can it be done with quality? Well, let's hope so. Okay, guys, here we go. Six minutes later. We're just uh, right down the street from our destination. Here's the problem though, Ricky. <laughs> Where is this? Because we're like in downtown Las Colinas. <laughs> I Are we guess in the it's, right spot? Uh, you gave me the address. Well, Richard gave me the address. Well, supposed to be a nice spot we're going to. Oh, there is houses on the back side of these buildings. Man, I was just for sure we was about to go pick up something in the, I don't know, parking lot of Walmart or something. No, oh, there's a nice golf course here. Speed limit. See, I'm doing speed limit. Oh, oh, oh. We're going under. Well, now. Ricky, I don't speak. Now that we made it over here in six minutes instead of 13. This is oh, shit, I better start <laughs> finding the map here. Okay. Half a mile, we're gonna turn right on Northgate Drive. Okay. It's a nice area here, man. It is nice. Hopefully this is gonna be a good truck. It just said uh, $4,500. Dude, if this is a 95 two-door Tahoe. Stalled vehicle, stalled vehicle. Four-wheel drive for 4,500 bucks. Bro, that's not a bad price. I love those. Did you like those? I mean, everybody wants one every time, at one point in their life. But it's not a Bronco, so you don't want it. It's not Ford product. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, man, I got nothing wrong with the Tahoe, but it is probably one of the most uh, stolen vehicles. No, that's a um, 2001 F-250. No, I'm not talking about the easiest to steal. I'm just talking about the most stolen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day, beautiful day. Let's <laughs> let's make a deal, man. Let's find something. Hopefully this works out. It's 445, Ricky. Let's make a deal before 5 o'clock and get us a two-door Tahoe on the way home. I like it. We're supposed to turn and ride on Northgate, remember? All right. I can't see nothing. We need to keep a pair of sunglasses in this damn thing. Where are your macho man Randy Savage glasses I don't at? Oh, I can't find them. Somebody macho them away. You got more fountains? This is a beautiful area over here, man. Ricky, this 
This guy don't need no 4x4 four four Tahoe. You got the address, not me. Yeah, you're good. Uh, just turn left up here. <laughs> yeah, they just, missed it, didn't Like we? I say, just you turn right here. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we got to come in from this way, man. Oh, is you, it? You okay. never made that turn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now, see, this sets you up just perfect. You're going to take a right, right up here. <laughs> this is exactly how we needed to come in, I man. I knew you had a plan. Yeah, you know. Oh, man, we might be able to get a dresser out of the deal, too. I, I need that dresser. Hello? Hey, brother, this is Josh from Gas Monkey. Yeah? I am, I think, out in front of your house. Uh, let me take a look. Is that a Coke pack? Yeah, yeah, there's a Jeep, and then there's a little Nissan, looking like a little Nissan Rogue or something. Yeah, keep on coming up the block to the Coke pack, you'll see the truck in the street. Uh oh, I might be on the wrong one then. We went right, so you're probably left up the hill, huh? Oh yeah, we're up the hill. Okay, okay, that's probably where we messed up. Yeah, I'll get the keys right now. I'll get you guys Yes, sir. See you in a minute. Don't Damn it, Ricky! What? It's the wrong way. That's where it told us to go. Oh, there it is. Hey, hey, here we go. Damn. Got a little used car lot going on right here. Well, he's a Mustang guy like you. He can hey, have we a can talk, man. With we him. can talk. Okay, Big Red did good. Got me here alive. Well, tell me a little bit more about it. Uh, I bought it two years ago. Drove for about a week and a half. Transmission went out and it's just been sitting. Is it out, out, like don't even move? Or it, is moves it, just it, it goes in first and second. It doesn't drive around. Yeah. I just, it wasn't reliable, so I just parked it, thought I'd get around to it. And it's too nice of a truck just to have it sitting in my backyard. Yeah. It, away. Looking so, on the outside, yeah, definitely. I mean, just a little bit of clear peeling, but yeah, and then it's got a couple little dings on it. On the back, we got a little bit on the arm, but nothing major. Well, we just left a different truck that was supposedly this clean too, and uh -huh. it definitely wasn't that clean. Yeah. So I'm not one of them guys that bullshit my way around stuff. I'm a straight shooter, so yeah. Well, you're, <laughs> a, you're a car guy. I'm guessing these are yours. Oh, these are my sons, actually. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty clean. He's a carpet headliner. It runs clean as hell. That's it. Yes, sir. Can I make sure I can start it? Mine. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while, so I don't know how to charge the battery, but I'm pretty sure it's started. Definitely doing better than last time, Ricky. Oh, it's in turbo mode. Oh, race car. Do you mind if we just go around the block real quick? Uh, I know where you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to hide. Yeah, plus you got a nice truck, too. <laughs> Oh, it has a comfy seat right there. Nice steering wheel. You got a nice stereo there. I mean, it needs a headliner. But, dash a little. Dash Ooh, a little Lord. rough. It needs some interior work. And a paint job. What is that feeling I'm feeling, man? What? I don't know. Nostalgia from high school? Maybe. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, yeah, I don't not not looking too good there. See, don't work. It's coming out hot. Coming out hot. It's like that new kid song. Coming in hot, but it's coming out hot. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't know, Ricky. What do you think? What do, we, what do these things go for? Do you know? Yeah, I don't know. We got to look it up, but I know they're pretty strong at 4,500 in in any condition. But that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't feel like this is bad. This thing runs and drives. Yeah. You know. That's a that's a start right there. It's got a, I mean that's a freaking 350 in it. Yeah. But but then again, so then we need to be lower than that. Yeah. Four. I mean it's a freaking four wheel drive, bro. Yeah, but does that work? I don't see the oil underneath it. That's a clean that's, neighborhood, uh, you know. Yeah. So but you can it. put it in four wheel drive there. Oh, feels. Gotta love that old shit. A little bit of slack there. No, nah, this is clinking in. Yeah. Oh, oh we're man. definitely four low. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Full drive works. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little drag going. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! A little drag going back in the high. Man, who's got look at these fancy cup holders up here? What were they thinking? Yeah, let's uh, let's get under it real good. Let's pop the hood again. Check yep. it out. We'll smell yep. everything. And I mean, it runs, drives. Yeah. That's the biggest thing right there, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's working better for us than that first truck. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Just smells like oil, not gasoline. That's a good thing.
I got a lot of guys go bonds like that. You ain't even real, dude. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I definitely like it. Uh, I definitely think it's worth trying to figure something out on. Well, let me make the call. Obviously, it's not my money. Yeah. So let's mm -hmm. call him and make sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 that it's okay. Sure would like it. Yeah, he makes pretty good money. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Damn, they put a tranny and you get like 10 grand, 10, 12 grand, buddy. All right, well, let me call him real quick and uh, I'll get right back, right back to you. You got it. All right. All right, so we just said we got a deal. 45. That'll work. All right. I'm grab the thing. All right. I'm going to grab, I got some paperwork for like transfer and stuff like that. And then I need to grab a copy of your license and stuff. He wants so. All right. So we made a deal real quick on this 95 Tahoe. It's two door. It's four wheel drive. Uh, it's 350. Valve cover's got a little bit of oil on them stuff. But other than that, it's super clean. It looks all original. Uh, I don't see any real, like no rust anywhere on it. The frame is red i'm not understanding that but he's saying there's a transmission issue and the dash is cracked and some interior needs a little bit but dude these things go from 8 to 14 all day in rough condition so i think this is a good buy and hopefully that'll save our ass for not getting the last vehicle ready <laughs> and being gone all day all right guys so we made the buy we're about to load it up i think we got a good deal uh it's a really clean tahoe the body has no heart I'm talking about virtually any dents or anything. Uh, get Mike to reshoot this hood and fenders. Replace some interior pieces here and there. And man, fix the transmission. I think this is a good quick flip. So let's get this thing loaded up. Loaded. All right, Ricky, what do you think? Sounds like a pretty good buy. Yeah. We could do some cool stuff to it and make some money. Yeah. Or we could do very little and make some money, so. I looked real quick while you was talking and these things are going for good money. So if we could just get this transmission out, get it from slipping, fix a little AC leak, I think that we could just flip it the way it is. Yeah, sounds good. That should make Richard happy. I think so. Let's get this thing loaded up. So crooked. What's that camera doing, Ricky? Dude, it's all giga wompy. All right, well, we're getting back to the shop. Made it back in record time. I know you complained about it, but we're here. And I think we did a good buy. You think we did a good buy. So let's get in here and see if Richard thinks we got a good buy because that's the one that actually matters. And why is there a Corvette inside, by the way? Ew. It, it is the ooh Corvette. Turn Ew. around and look. Turn around and look. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Is Tom Selleck here? Hey, we bought the matching Tahoe to his Corvette. That's right, yeah, he's got a matching pair now. Look at the shine on that thing. So we went out and bought a 90s Tahoe and y'all bought a 90s vet? Yeah, but I don't think that was what y'all were supposed to buy, right? We saved our ass on that one because the thing we were supposed to buy ended up not being what we were supposed to buy. It was pretty rough. This is a way better buy. This makes money. We got that for $4,500. Mm -hmm. It's a freaking two-wheel drive, two, I mean a four-wheel drive, two-door Tahoe. Yeah, bro. What are we gonna do with it? Just flip it and sell it. Hey, like we I left. We're bringing back like a '90s Tahoe blacked out, and we get back. You got a '90s Corvette blacked out. What happened? This is an '87 Corvette. Holy crap! Yeah. Really? Yeah. So uh, no dice on the uh, C10. Was that rough? It was super cool looking in pictures. Yeah. <laughs> That sucks, man. I wish you would have told me more about it. I wouldn't have sent you guys out there. Yeah. But uh, you were able to get this. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good buy at 4500 I called Mike on the way over here, and he said that no matter what's wrong with it, a full rebuild on that transmission for us is under fourteen. Okay. So we're golden. Uh, I think this thing makes money all day long. I was telling Ricky on the way here, we could even call DJM because they want to work with us again. Who's so, DJM? Uh, lifts and drops, little oh, suspension, yeah, yeah, yeah. small lift, get some bigger tires on it. Dude, I bet you this thing can make good money quick. He said something about the guy before him liked to paint his frames red or something. He, yeah, he was telling us that every single car that that dude had had red frames. Interesting. It's super odd, but maybe it protected it a little bit because it really ain't rusty. It's pretty straight. Uh, clear cuts coming off the hood. Well, that always happens. Yep. Yeah, so front fenders and hood, clear's coming. Didn't quite right. The top clip is broke, but I mean, it looks like probably an eBay grill already. It doesn't look like a factory one, so you can get those cheap. Well, there but, you go, man. Let's get her unloaded and see what we got. Where is everybody? Oh, now nah, it ain't six yet. We made it back, baby. Ricky's crying the whole way, but we made it. Wait, what? 
Were you talking about Ricky over there? Uh, he said that everybody went home. I said, no, we made it in plenty of time, even though you was crying about it. Uh -oh. Ricky didn't know this was race truck. Y'all stop and get lunch somewhere? We went to Taco Casa. We didn't take a whole lot of time. We left at one. What do you think Daphne's gonna say about this buy? I don't know. Richard just called and he was mad that we didn't get the first one, so I had to bring something back. <laughs> Damn it. She probably wouldn't be mad if I wouldn't come back and y'all had a fucking Corvette inside. How that did Corvette's that happen? Sweet. No. It's got low miles. Okay. It needs to be. Because no one wanted to drive it. Nobody. Those body styles. <laughs> Nobody likes those body styles. Why do you buy that? It better be some super rare edition. Is it some super rare edition? I have no idea. It's got You're asking the wrong people. Mike, what's wrong? What's up there? Is it some super rare or something? Uh, no. It's not cool about those Corvettes. You know they're not cool. Okay, that one's cool though. Why? See, no. What? I'll tell you why. All right. Because it has 1,500 miles on it. Oh, you didn't say that low miles. You said low miles. Yeah, 1,500. That's no, that's actually, called no miles. Actually, not even 1,500 yet. It's like 14 and some change. Okay. Well, yeah, that's called no miles, Sinjin. That's not low. That's no. <laughs> God. Yeah, so, How? Where'd he find that? I don't know. I know he paid a lot for it, but I mean, <laughs> it's, it's essentially a, a brand new car. Somebody bought that and just parked it. What do you think about this? I like these. I two wish door. it was two-wheel drive, but those are harder to find. Two-wheel drive, four-door? Yeah, I've had a couple of these. What do you think this goes for? Mm. We fixed the transmission. Fix the frame. Fix the transmission. Yeah. Cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, 12, 15, maybe. I don't know. Got it for 45. Yeah. Making money all day. Yeah, it was so you, right up. So we did the transmission, and then the doors are sacked. Both yeah. sides. Both sides. Well, I, that's, I can see it from here. Yeah, but there's a million companies that make things to fix that because these all do that yeah we just need to put pins and bushings in it and that'll clean up the doors the hood the Easy. clear see uh, we'll knock it out one i'll take it off one day or i'll take it off and i'll just see it console tops curling up but that's probably 60 bucks at diego i mean i think a couple little clean up things on it and she's gone we can call it djm you know they take care of us we can get a little bit of a lip or i mean lift 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 i need to go home and uh call our general Get a little bit bigger tires and give this thing a good looking stance bro yeah i think you're right i think we turn it 10 10 to 12 all day yeah Dope. a little clean up a little quick clip yeah dude like the guy yeah. was like hey can i get the radio out of there and i was like are we good at four and he said no i said then we're keeping the radio i didn't say that but that's how it went down i, I hit him at four and he said no 45 and then he asked for the radio and i was like eh. so it was implied all the things that i said but he was a cool guy so we got what kind of radio is it it's a double den it's nice it's got a seven band equalizer head work console too. Bucks. Yeah. It's a yeah, it's five hundred dollar radio all day. Probably seven hundred dollar radio really. So we're already ahead right now. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Making money, baby. So yeah, this isn't normally what we buy. It's okay though, because this makes money. Cash is good, cash makes Richard happy, and if Richard's happy, we're all happy, so I was on that side. Was that good it runs up for real? Hey, the uh, old, old pressure's packed out in this day. That's good. Totally, totally opposite than Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk shit about my Suburban, bro. It gets him back and forth to work. Okay. All those trucks have a certain smell to them. What smell? Uh, I don't know. It's it's that body style truck. It's the glue they use on the interior or something, but they all have a distinct smell. I've had many of these, so I just want to smell it. I miss it. Yep, <laughs> it does, it has it. Look at this equalizer we got in here. The headliner's kind of got garbage. an equalizer, we got an amp power cord, we got a touch screen radio. Maybe it's got Apple CarPlay. That's a plus. It's got, it's got that, hey, well it's because that breather's flipped over. It's got speed in there. It's, it no. has that smell. Hey, wait till you look under the hood. Yeah, we thought we looked under the hood of that fucking 85, too, I promise. I saw the picture. <laughs> hey, brace yourselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And with, with the canyon. That should have been a red flag. Could have told that somebody was racing this, you know? Rev it, I want to hear it. That's, that's, that's an automatic extra five horsepower. You know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It is clean. It's spotless, dude. Yeah. 
This fucking thing's immaculate. This is how you want to buy them right here. Yeah. Complete yeah. with your transmission fluid in system. Yeah, I mean, it's excellent. In there for uh, <laughs> some safety. And a t-shirt. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Do you ever Ooh. get in the air? And you see that the uh, washer bottle not broke. Well, this is my first time to get in here, so I don't oh, know. You're I so, mean. Oh, God, my. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> this is what you bought. Yeah, and I know from the front it's a little ugly because the clear's coming up, but well, it's, it's Chevy things. That's common. I'm just going to take a guess okay. that at some point the heater box started leaking. Um, I would say so. Since it's got all that uh, metal tape on it. Yeah. Okay, so does it run and drive? It actually runs really good. The guy said the transmission doesn't go into overdrive, but then his wife drove it and it did go into overdrive, so we need to do a, a good test drive on it. Fires right up. Battery's a little low. A little low. That was good there. All right, let's take it for a drive. Cameron, get in the back. Yeah, yeah, there ain't no back doors, Brandon. Uh, here you go, buddy. Squeeze. I like the way they did the speakers back there. That's the really sexy. Well, the grills are actually back there still. So it needs a headliner and then this console top. Uh, I mean, you always talk about the rubber bumper cars and the OBS is coming back in style. So I started looking it up. The way this thing sits, dude, they're going for eight to 12. Okay, we got this one for 4,500. 4,500. Yeah, this thing needs a good cleaning. That's, it's not bad, dude. We took it around the block. We didn't get it really up to speed. There was no good highway or nothing, you know, but I didn't think it was pretty bad or that bad. So, uh, it wasn't as described. Oh, the, the Chevy? Man, it looked cool on the outside, but when you got into it and dove into it, there was a lot missing. Yeah, I know you called me. You didn't say that the, the inner fenders were not in it and you know, that it, it just, I hate it when people do that because we wasted a lot of time, but luckily I was able to save the day with this sweet ass Tahoe. I mean, with yeah. the barn doors. Barn doors are better than those other doors. Yeah. The like, lift back and stuff. Yeah, I hate that stuff. And it's four wheel drive. It is. Dude, it? the moment we pulled up and he was like, oh yeah, it runs and drives. I was like, oh yeah, this is a score for sure. Feel it shifting. I was like, so yeah, it's shifting through. Really? I don't know. Maybe the guy had it down in third and didn't realize it or something. Did it shift through? Yeah, yeah, it just dropped down to like a thousand RPM or 1200 or so. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, we're golden then. Brakes are a little soft. I think we check all the fluids and stuff and uh, maybe bleed the brakes. Yeah. I bet you this thing would be badass. Put the speaker grills and stuff back on. Figure out what those belts are squeaking for. This is rad. I always like these trucks. I never had one. This one's a little rough on the inside. On the inside, yeah. And I know the clear is coming up, but it ain't got no big dents. Now, it does have a red frame, though. I thought that was... Yeah, we're going to spray paint that back black. <laughs> but let's do that outside, not inside. I don't, okay. want, uh, I don't want all that crap. Uh, what am I trying to say, man? I'm so enamored with this truck, I don't even know how to talk. I don't even know what enamored means. Hey, leave the camera guy in there. Come on, Brandon. Hey, guys. Brandon, come on, let's go. Fucking let me out. Come on, big boy.